Good day everyone, today we will discuss the auto cycle. Now, the auto cycle is the ideal prototype of a spark ignition engine, just like what you see here. So we will discuss auto cycle, but before we go into this uh, discussion of this cycle, which is the ideal cycle for a spark ignition engine, let us discuss First, the operation of a spark ignition engine or what you call a gasoline engine. So to uh, simplify things, we have here four stroke and five events. So this is called the four stroke five event cycle. So first we have to familiarize ourselves with the uh, parts here. No? So the parts we have here, the piston, this piston moves up and down. We have the connecting rod and the crankshaft. That's the parts of a reciprocating engine. We have here the intake valve. We have here the exhaust valve and the spark plug. Okay, so the first stroke. So when you say stroke, this pertains to the movement of the piston. So the first stroke is intake stroke. So this is where your piston goes down or is in the bottom dead center, and your exhaust valve is open. So the exhaust valve is open. The fuel and air mixture will go inside the combustion chamber. Okay, so that is the intake stroke. So there will be an intake event, okay, wherein your fuel and air mixture will go inside, will go inside the combustion chamber. So the next stroke is the compression stroke wherein your piston goes up to the top dead center and compressing the fuel and air mixture. So that is the compression stroke and also the compression event. During this event, both, both of the exhaust valve and the intake valves are closed. Okay? And then, the next event would be the spark plug firing so you will have the ignition event okay so this happens while the uh, piston is in the top dead center so may mga, there's a timing mechanism that uh, tells the engine that it's time to fire okay so the spark plug provides the uh, the light so that the fuel and air mixture will uh, combust and the next stroke, the next movement of the piston, the piston goes down and producing the power. So this is now the power stroke, explosion of forces and the piston goes down. So the power stroke or the uh, ignition events, the, the ignition event provide the uh, power or provide the power for the uh, piston to go down. Okay, so because of that explosion, the piston will go down. Okay, so that's the power stroke. So this is where power is delivered to the wheels of a car. So the next is, so once the, uh, ano, once the fuel and air mixture are, uh, of course, they're all burned. Okay, uh, the next stroke will be the exhaust stroke wherein the piston will go up, the exhaust valves open, the exhaust valve will open, and it will push out all the exhaust, all the uh, gas, all the, the burned fuel and air out of the engine, and the cycle repeats again. Okay, so we have four strokes, and we have five events. So after understanding that, we will now relate that to the auto cycle. In the discussion of the auto cycle, it is important for us to discuss the auto cycle in relation to the PV diagram. So I got here a uh, PV diagram, and this image is from the thermodynamics and engineering approach by Sing Sengel and Bowles. I hope I pronounced their surnames correctly. So this is your pressure and volume uh, graph. Okay. So as I've discussed kanina, we have the intake stroke. So your uh, your piston travels 
to the bottom dead, bottom dead center. So it's from the top dead center go, going to the bottom dead center. So that's your intake stroke. And then you will have your compression stroke. Compression stroke. So this is the travel of the uh, change in uh, pressure and volume. Actually, we will name that as 1 to 2. Okay? So that 1 to 2 is what we call the isentropic compression. Okay? So again, that is the isentropic compression. Let's write that down. Isentropic compression. So it means to say that the process involved here is an isentropic process. Meaning to say the compression involves no addition of heat or no removal of heat. So it's an isentropic compression. And then the next process or the next uh, stroke that uh, we have, if you remember a while ago, the next stroke is the uh, compression. So after intake stroke, compression stroke, the next uh, the next stroke is the power stroke, wherein you have compressed the gas and your spark plug has provided the uh, spark so that your fuel and air mixture will uh, explode. So this is the portion of that graph. And we will assume or we, we will call that 2 to 3, points 2 to 3. And that would be the constant volume addition of heat. Constant volume addition of heat. Addition of heat. So what does that mean? It means to say that this volume, the compression volume, is held to a constant when the uh, spark plug has provided the spark so that your fuel and air mixture will burn. Okay? So, constant volume, meaning to say this is a isometric process. Isometric process. Okay? So, we have an isentropic compression first. And then an isometric process. And then your uh, piston will go down from the top dead center. Okay, because there is power produced. There is an explosion that happened. And that would be points 3 to 4. So again, I just would like to iterate. Let's say this is point 1. This is point 2. This is point 3. And this will be point 4. Okay, so points 3 to 4 is what we call the isentropic expansion. Expansion. Okay, so no heat is added again during the expansion. Isentropic expansion. And then last is the process 4 to 1. Okay, process 4 to 1 is the constant volume rejection of heat. So again, there will be a constant volume process, isometric process. But this time, this is rejection of heat. Rejection of heat. Okay, so this is again an isometric process. And then, as your uh, gas goes from... Point 0.4 to point 0.1, okay, it will now uh, be exhausted. The uh, exhaust valve will open and the cycle will uh, repeat itself. So, if we will simplify these uh, four, uh, four processes, you will form a what you call the auto cycle. Ito kasi, <clears throat> this one, the image that uh, I got. Parang ano to, this is the, uh, kumbaga the actual, the actual uh, plotting. No? But we will simplify this to a four cycle event, okay? Or four process event and one cycle, completing a cycle. So, again, point 0.1 to point 0.2 is isentropic compression. So, that is a curve. From point 0.1 to point 0.2. And then we have constant volume. So that is a vertical line. From point 0.2 to point 0.3. And then 
a curve again, isentropic, uh, isentropic expansion from 0.3 to 0.4, and then from 0.4 to 0.1 is again a vertical line, which is the rejection of heat. Okay, so let us uh, discuss some simple formulas here. From process 2 to 3 is constant volume addition of heat. So we have Q sub A, that is your addition of heat, and that happens from process 2 to 3. And then you have the rejection of heat, which happens from process 4 to 1. And one formula that we need to remember is the work of the cycle, the work of the cycle is equal to the heat added minus the heat rejected. Okay? And the efficiency of the cycle would be equal to uh, the work, efficiency is equal to the work over the added heat. Okay? So, umbaga, QA minus QR, whatever work is produced, all over QA. QA is the added heat. So that is assumed to be the heat that is coming in from the fuel and air mixture. Okay? So this is the efficiency of the system. So of course, we will multiply this by 100 to make it uh, a percentage. Another uh, thing that uh, we need to consider here is this is called V1 to V2, this is called your volume displacement, V sub D. Okay? So, volume displacement, V sub D. Volume displacement. And, it is equal to V1 minus V2. Okay? V2 is what you call your Clearance volume. Volume. Sometimes that is uh, V sub C. Okay, another thing that uh, we want to point out here is that because process 2 to 3 is an isometric process, then therefore your V2 is also equal to your V3 and your V4 is also equal to your V1. So what I want you to remember here guys is that you need to memorize the processes because the process will also dictate the formula to be used. So again, process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression and then you have an isometric process, constant volume addition of heat and then you have the isentropic compression and then you have the uh, constant volume rejection of heat from process 4 to 1. Okay, and then the simple formulas that we will we should remember, work is equal to QA minus QR, efficiency is equal to QA, uh, work all over QA. Okay, and then uh, one important uh, ratio that uh, we need to also take note of is the R sub K. This is what we call the isentropic compression ratio. Isentropic compression ratio. Okay? And that is equal to V1 over V2. We will uh, simplify uh, furthermore as uh, on the next video I will discuss example problems. So the other formulas will be discussed in the next video. Thank you for watching.